Dare to Dream is an organization of volunteers that helps young people that live in homes and shelters. Twice a year, volunteers organize a box cart race to finance activities with children from the Twilight Shelter, Cotlands, and other institutions. One founder member, Sharon Herselman, wanted to explore how horses could help young people where occupational therapists had already accepted horses in the treatment of physical disabilities. Sharon met Brenda de Klerk, who had rescued horses and wanted to use them with children. The Twilight Shelter in Hilbra was invited to her Walkerville base and the result was Dare to Dream. Lynn Stevenson and a host of volunteers have extended the program to serve many homes for young people. Hi, I'm Lynn and um, I'm from the Dare to Dream organization. These are all my volunteers. We have rescued horses and we use them in a therapy program for different homes. And they come through from the homes and they work with the horses and um, it helps to ground them and helps them to realize that there is something else besides the, the, the homes that they have to survive in. One of our biggest problems is funds to feed the animals for the horses, the rescue horses. So we do our go-kart race twice a year. So it would be great to have support. We'd love to you to join us and build a cart. And then we do barnyard um, fundraising and we are in the process of doing a fashion show. The box cart race, where money collected from entrance fees is used to fund these activities, has become so popular in the past five years, competitors and supporters come from far and wide. The biggest challenge is to get these vehicles that have almost no brakes around the corner at the bottom of a long downhill straight. Many local small business owners now also support this good cause. Tripod, a Labrador that lost one leg, thoroughly approves of the visitors to his quiet spot in the countryside.